What's up everybody, it's Bear with BearIndependent.com and this is a gas mask from Mira. It's the Mira Safety CM7M, Charlie Mike-7 Mike. And uh, they sent it to me for testing and review and so we're gonna be doing some playing with it. I wanted to show you what come in the box with it. You get the mask, you get the canister, you actually get a canteen with the cap on the top that you need in order to be able to drink water through this. And if you look in there, it's got a little tiny bite valve, which is cool. And pro tip, these canisters work a lot better if you take the plastic cap off the side of it when it comes to you. Pretty much no way you're gonna be breathing out of that if you don't remove it. So it comes with the canister, comes with the mask, comes with the canteen, comes with your warranty information, comes with a bunch of uh, cool stickers, which is cool, and your instructions on how to wear one of these things. Now, some genius in marketing was like, let's send the bearded guy the uh, gas mask, and it works. If you're a bearded guy, I can make this thing seal. Is it 100% trustworthy? Frankly, no. But if you were to slather your face with a whole handful of petroleum jelly Vaseline, you could probably get a good adequate seal on this without having to shave your beard. Some people keep a razor in their kit with them for just that reason. And people that have to wear SCBA for a reason don't have facial hair, which is a shame because that puts them in the women and children category. However, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a shot. Almost. So the lenses are good. It doesn't fog up right immediately and it clears fog pretty quickly as well. There we go. There we go. All right, so it's grabbing now. Can you see that? See it sucking tight? Cool. And uh, we'll do a little bit of shooting in it and then have a quick conversation about why do I even need this thing as a prepper or is it just a fun thing to be playing with? Now, it clearly is going to affect your field of vision when you have one of these things on to say nothing of interferences with your weapon. So let's go play. Now that's harder. It's definitely harder to shoot a pistol with iron sights in the mask than it is to shoot a dot sight. I feel like such a tactical badass right now. I don't know, question mark. Like, do I need one of these things? Let's have that discussion real quick.
So, you might feel like a tactical badass wearing this and this and this with one of these. I'll be the first one to tell you this whole get up sucks to operate in. So, let's have that conversation. Oh, too low. Alright, so as far as the quality of the mask goes, it's a good quality mask. It's well made. Um, it does fog up a little bit when you first put it on, but it clears itself of that pretty well, which means it's got a good quality coating on there. It doesn't stay foggy, which is cool. Um, I think what a lot of people really miss with these, if you've never spent any time with one of these on, is like, like you said, now all of a sudden you're looking through two paper towel rolls. This is your field of sight, and we don't realize how much this bridge of your nose area of your eyesight, how much you use that. Yeah. And so, like, if you are, if you're cross-eyed dominant with a handgun, forget it. Mm -hmm. um, but this area right here, because you can't see through here, it actually makes it quite difficult to for death perception mm -hmm. and forget... Um, peripheral vision doesn't exist anymore yeah. so that's that's more the applicability of this the quality itself it's a good mask it's well made i like the fact that it it comes with everything you need in the box you don't have to buy like extra pieces and parts mm -hmm. to put it together to make you know make it usable out of the box i like their logo and i liked meeting the uh mira guys at the epic shoot 2021 mm -hmm. they were good people and i appreciate them i appreciate them sending us the mask now, as you may have noticed, my prowess with the handgun went way down mm -hmm. with this mask on. Way down. Um, Especially it's... in the, the very first time you shot. Yep. Now, some things you can train to overcome. Um, and there was an improvement even in just the second time you shot. Yep. Um, but even then, you missed several rounds. And I've seen you mag dump, like, not even trying without missing. Yep. Um, we're not talking about 50 yard shooting here. <laughs> so, no, 10, 15 yards. So yep. uh, a miss is a, is significant for you. From my my knowledge of your shooting competency, well, thanks, thanks, bro. Miss. Thanks, bro. So, well, I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. You do not wear corrective lenses. Correct. So, was any of that? Do you think? Um, was any of that a type of parallax type thing from having to look through a lens? To look at your sights i think i think because was, you were consistently hitting off to one side yeah you spot. noticed that right yeah. yeah so my grouping was good it just wasn't yes. on the damn target right um and i think that definitely played into it what i found was i was having in order to get the sights where they were lined up with the target i mm -hmm. had to turn my head to one side because of the occlusion mm -hmm. in the center of the mask and so i don't know if that's a parallax issue or not but um I definitely had to reposition my head from where I normally would have held my head to make the sights line up on the target. Right. And then the other thing with that is, you know, the automaticity, the muscle memory of draw the weapon, present the weapon, squeeze the trigger. If the sights aren't there, right. now your OODA loop is jacked. It's like, where the hell did my sights go? You add into the fact that like, oh, breathing is all of a sudden difficult and I'm just standing still yeah. and I've got eight pounds of armor on top of my head. Everything about this sucks. Yeah. And I think that's part of like the prepper fantasy. Yeah. You see all those cool thumbnails of guys standing with their gas mask on with their AR in front of a burning city. Like, 14 reasons the zombies are going to rape your dog. It's like, they're not, they're wearing one of these. They're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not, if, and if they are, they're not doing it quickly or well. And I think that's something that people miss a lot of. Absolutely. I was going to say that if it, if it had to do with the fact that you're looking through lenses, that is something that is common. I've spent a lot of time with a gas mask on and trained a lot of people to shoot with gas masks on and so that's not uncommon um that's not a flaw of the product yeah that's that's something that can be trained past yeah, yeah. well and you know excuses are lies but these are the first rounds i've shot yeah. today no warm-up no nothing mm -hmm. just like hey we're gonna throw the mask on and see what happens that yeah that you 
and we don't edit stuff. We're not over here smacking the, the plate with a hammer when well, nobody's looking. And you pointed out, and you're absolutely right, people who are listening and know what they're listening to know that there were a lot of misses yeah. in those first couple of strings. Uh, but this is real. This is the truth. Also, something I wanted to point out, since you were talking about the quality of it, I love that they didn't cheap out on the, the harness. Mm -hmm. So this has got rubber tabs to cover this so that where, when you have something like a helmet over it, that's not digging in your skull. Yep. It's got a good solid webbing on the back instead of just straps. This yep. is, I like the little details of the quality yeah. that they put in it. It's well made. They didn't half ass it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, it's a recommend for me. I definitely need to do some more training in it. Mm -hmm. And not just shooting training, but PTing, moving training mm -hmm. in it. What do you think with your vast body of knowledge? It is better than most of the pro masks that I was uh, issued and given to work with. <laughs> right. So, so it's a go for me as well. Well, yeah. people miss that a lot. They're like, it's military specification. Yeah, That's just... not a high bar. <laughs> it just <laughs> means that it went to the lowest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I think it's a win. It I is. think Mira yeah. did a good job. It's for a gas mask, it's comfortable to wear. But it's right, kind of yeah. like saying, if I'm going to get punched in the junk, uh -huh. you know, like I want you to comfortably punch me in the junk. It, there's <laughs> right. nothing enjoyable about the process. No. But of, you know, this is the, the best bad experience one could have, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Any final thoughts here? No. I like that, it, I like that it's a turnkey solution out of the box. Yeah. I, oh, I, and I didn't hit that. So... The vast majority of people who think they're going to go out and just buy an NBC mask and be set, <laughs> they don't consider the fact that you're going to get real thirsty real quick when you don't have a canteen mm -hmm. with an NBC uh, cap on it. You know, and most people that even have canteens don't have the NBC top on it. Yep. They ship it with one. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. Yep. That's what I'm saying. All the little details are yeah. there. They're like, they're actually taking care of the end user. It's not like, how can I... You know, obviously they're a company which is, you know, profit driven, mm -hmm. which is good, but they're not trying to screw people. Right. You know, oh, you buy the mask and then you buy the canister yeah. and then you buy the little fill tube and then you buy the canteen and, yeah. oh, well, you forgot to get the cap that goes with the canteen that yeah. hooks to the hose. Like, no, you buy it. It's everything you need in the box. Yeah. Good to go. And they were, really are good people. I yeah. enjoyed getting to know them at Epic Shoot. So for me, it's a win. I got to do more with it. But uh, for me, it's a win. Same. Cool. Bless y'all. Shalom. Hey, guys.